Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you how to make a 12 volt DC UPS using 18650 lithium ion batteries for your internet devices, security cameras, emergency lights and home automation systems. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB where you can order your 5 pieces of up to 32 layers PCBs starting from 2 US dollars. If you are planning to order premium 6 layer PCBs, this is right time for that. Place your order and get a special discount of 30 US dollars. One of a good addition in their services is flexible PCBs. Now you can order flexible PCBs starting from 2 US dollars. Now you can also upgrade to a nano coated stencil with a free coupon of 5 US dollars. With the help of this stencil, it would be very easy to release the soldering paste on PCB during the soldering process. Another exciting news is that now you can include the newly released RP2350 chip in your projects. So for more details about that, you can visit this page here. To order for your PCB assembly, first upload PCB Gerber files then bill of material file and pick and place file and then place your order ok guys so after a few days we got our pcbs from jlc pcb let me open this box to show you our new pcbs As you can see the build quality is really perfect and very good as always. Here are all the components that are required to complete our UPS PCB. First of all here you can see a 3 cell 18650 lithium ion battery holder. Here are 5 1 and 4 007 diodes and uh, here are 3 25 volt and 1000 microfarad capacitors, a DC power jack and here are some male heater pins, two 5 mm LEDs, two 1 kilo ohm resistors, a 3 cell BMS, a 12 volt relay and here are two screw terminal blocks and here are two XL6009 buck boost converter modules and this is our PCB. So now I will solder all these components to our new PCB. Now first of all this BMS will go here. Like this. And uh, now we will solder these points together. And uh, this B plus with this B plus terminal. And this B2 with this B2 terminal. This B1 with this B1 terminal and uh, this B negative with this terminal and this P negative with this P negative terminal. Now we will place and solder the remaining components. Now before soldering these modules to the PCB, we will need to set the output voltages for each module. So the output voltages of this module will be set to the 12.6 volts. And the output voltages of this module will be set to the 12 volt. Now 
now connect this module with a 12 volt power supply source and then adjust the output voltages to 12.6 volts as you can see now it is 16.9 so we will need to adjust okay so now do it for the second module okay so now we will solder these modules to our pcb Now this 12 volt module will be connected here and this 12.6 volt module will be connected here. Now we will connect this on off switch here with these terminals. Okay guys so now here I have three 18650 lithium ion batteries and uh, now I will insert all these batteries in this holder by facing the positive terminal of each battery to this side. Now I am going to connect this 12 volt bulb at the output to show you the working of this UPS circuit. Ok guys so finally our UPS circuit is complete and now it is ready for testing. Now I am going to connect it with the 12 volt power supply source. So as you can see the output load is turned on automatically and uh, here you can see the power LED is glowing but still the UPS power button is off so it will not work in backup mode if we remove the power the output load will be turned off as you can see here and now if we power on this button so now if we remove the main power the UPS will not turn off as you can see we removed the power and our load is running on these batteries and you can also see this backup LED is glowing and if we reconnect the main power it will automatically shift on this adapter power as you can see here with this green LED let me show you once again and if we turn off this button and then if we remove this main power the load will be turned off as you can see here
So guys, during the testing procedure, I realized that the temperature of these XL6009 modules are getting high. So then I decided to put a small 12 volt fan over these modules to maintain the temperature. And the wires of this fan are directly connected with this output terminal of the UPS circuit, as you can see here. The fan will be automatically turned on during the operation. So guys that's it for today's video. All necessary information about this project you can find in the video description. Let me know in comments that what should be the next project and uh, I hope you will like my this project. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.